In a survey of 3,090 adults aged 57 through 85, it was found that 83.3% of them used at least one prescription medication. Complete parts A through C below. How many of the 3,090 subjects used at least one prescription medication? So we're told that 83.3% of the 3,090 adults use one prescription medication. So in mathematics, of means multiply. So we can turn this percentage into a decimal. So 0 0.833 times 3,090. All right, so now we can work this out. So it should be 0 0.833 times 3,090. So there it is. It wants us to round to the nearest integer, so that'll be a whole number. So 2574. So the answer is 2,574. 2,574. Good stuff. Construct a 90% confidence interval estimate of the percentage of adults aged 57 through 85 years who use at least one prescription medication. So this question is asking us to construct a 90% confidence interval for the percentage of the adults, of all adults, in this age range who use at least one prescription medication. So confidence interval is a range of values used to estimate, in this case, a percentage. So whenever we have to construct a confidence interval for a percentage or a proportion, we have to find n and x. n is always the total number of observations. In this case, n is 3,090. x is the total number of successes. If you look at the last sentence, it will always tell you what success is. In this case, success is using at least one prescription medication. So we have 2,574 adults who use one prescription medication. So we have the observations and the successes, and we have the confidence level. So now all we do is go to StatCrunch. So you click on where it says Question Help, and you click on StatCrunch. I'm going to detach this so it's easier to see. Okay. Then we go to stat, proportion stats, one sample with summary. So whenever you have to do a confidence interval for a proportion or a percentage, just go to proportions. And then to decide which one this is, like one sample or two sample, if you have one n, it's one sample. Later on, we'll have two n's, that's two samples. So same thing. And for confidence intervals, we'll all, we will always be picking with summary. So successes, that's 2,574. Observations is 3,090. Uh, hypothesis test, that's something else. So we're doing confidence intervals for P. P is the population proportion. In this case, we have to change the 95 to 90. So everything looks OK. Click Compute. And so I'm going to go ahead and write it down. I'll use four decimals when I write it. Let's see, so point. 8, 2, I'll use a couple more, 197, there we go, I'll use 5, 0. 0.84405, I'm using 5 decimals. I think it doesn't want 5 decimals, let's see what it wants. So it's always, it's always the lower and the upper, okay, those are always the answers, and you always put them in parentheses like that, okay. It wants one decimal, and it's got a percent sign here, which is good. Um, so it wants us to turn this into a percentage. So we basically take this decimal place and move it over two places and round. So 82.2%. This will be 84.4%. Okay, let's try it. So 82.2%. 84 84.4%. Check answer. Beautiful. What do the results tell us about the proportion of college students who use at least one prescription medication? Um, that's kind of a weird question because <laughs> the question is uh, the confidence interval was created for the adults who were aged 57 through 85. So this question doesn't really make too much sense because the confidence interval should tell us nothing about college students. So 
Um, I think it's this one. The results tell us nothing about the proportion of college students who use at least one prescription medication. Because this confidence interval was constructed for adults, 57 through 85. I mean, college students are adults too, but um, we didn't construct a college, uh, confidence interval for the college students. So, yeah. So let's, let's leave it there. Good. Let me show you how to um, interpret this by hand. Let me explain this. So if you wanted to write a detailed interpretation by hand for this, right, you would start by saying with 90% confidence. So you always start by mentioning the confidence level, always, every time. Okay. And then you go to the last sentence. So whatever's after um, the word confidence interval estimate. So right here, the percentage of adults. Let me write it down. The percentage of adults, okay, the percentage of adults aged 57 through 85, right, this is our, our conclusion, years, it's a lot of writing, but it's good, it's good for us, who use at least one prescription prescription medication okay so we're interpreting our results so we start by mentioning the confidence level always no matter what they just put a comma then you go to the last sentence the percentage of adults age 57 through 85 years who use at one who use at least one prescription medication, okay? Then you just say is between. So is between, BT means between. Then you go to your answer. So 82.2% and 84.4%. So again, to do a correct interpretation of a confidence interval, all we start by saying the level of confidence, so with 90% confidence, with 95% confidence, then go to the last sentence. So usually starting with the word the, the percentage of adults age 57 through 85 years who use at least one prescription medication, then you say is between, and then you go to your answer. So what does this mean? So there was a survey done of 3,090 adults, right? And um, this is how many of them used uh, one, one prescription medication, right? So, um, but if we do another survey, we're going to get different results, right? So we want to know what is the percentage of all the adults who use at least one prescription medication. So if you do this 100 times, you get 100 different surveys, so you get 100 different answers. The 90% means that 90 of our answers are correct. So 90% of the time, our interpretations are going to be correct. So that's what this means. So we're saying with 90% confidence, the percentage of all adults, of all the adults in the entire world who use at least one prescription medication is somewhere between two, these two numbers. And it's important to realize that we cannot know the percentage of all the adults in the entire world who use at least one prescription medication. It is an unknown number. It's called a parameter, right? It's a number that tells us something about a population. So this unknown parameter we're saying it's between these two numbers. So we are doing something uh, useful uh, with the mathematics. Uh, I hope that made sense.